Welcome back, y'all. My last video is running, uh, stupid long. I had to stop it for a spliffy. But now we're leveling up, so it's all... It all evens out, so, uh, you know, 75... That was a lot, um... 50 speech. My science up. My guns need to go back up, too. Alright, those all worth it. Don't know why I grabbed the pilot light. But I remember I needed to use those in like Fallout 3 so I get PTSD. Or is it this game? I don't remember. I don't remember this game 100%. All I remember is playing this game and being stuck behind doors. Exactly, just being stuck behind doors. Alright. Let me stop crouching. You know, that's funny. It's nice to say I need to stop crouching. I need to crouch again. And uh, your brain's mine, boy. Bam. Bam. I missed. You are stuck by some stuff, my friend. Boone, stop taking my kills. I don't pay you to take my kills, Boone. All right, I got a sneak attack. And the sneaking's not attacking. Oop. Hello. You mind? Wow. You can't take it. You can't take it. Or did he? If he did, I hate you, Boone. You do too much damage with that gun. The next follower I get, I'm gonna get rid of him with you. I don't know, because there's so many followers in this game. Believe it or not, there's like, I think like seven. I just want one with not, uh, a one-shot rifle. I want enemies that can actually compete against you. So far, you've been hammering everything. Even though I only had you for a short second. You're just more OP than I remembered. Like, I thought I was going to have to worry about you dying, because uh, when you're playing on uh, Hardcore, when your followers die, they die. So if Boone actually dies, I'm just going to leave him. Or do I want to? Do I really want to leave Boone? Or let my followers die, die? Eh, we'll see. I'll, I'll let him live it if he dies on some very stupid stuff. Like, walks off a cliff and broke his ankle and died. Or, uh, a hula girl. Actually, something in the desk. Bottle caps. Anything I want to talk to you, look about, read about? No. No. There's another floor somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Some more 9 mil rounds. You know, you can never have too much 9 millimeter bullets because you don't have any. The game says, oh, you store your shit in a safe anyway, so might as well just take it off our hands. I'm guessing that's where we need to go. But you know me, I gotta explore. I'm the. Post-apocalyptic Dora the Explorer. And I'm also a swiper, so guess what? I'm gonna swipe it. Nope. 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 Half these foot lockers are empty. But you know it's not empty. This room. The safe in the back. I'm looking at that safe later after I open this easy lock. Probably some good shit in here. Oh. Won't lie, I was about to walk over the floorboard. Or the lack of a floorboard, really. Oh, it's this spot. Which I actually forgot to come here. That pre wall money. Alright, let's go back. Oh. All right.
Actually, where does this door lead to? Nothing worth mentioning. Anything behind here? Cigarellos, Repcon, Administrator, again Storage, Terminal, Retirement. What? Storage safe room? All generator into the storage room as you requested. If you need to get access to the safe, the password is <laughs> R3. Pecan. Open. Open. It's all mine. Oh, I'm surprised my carry weight's not maxed out yet. Considering I'm just grabbing every single thing I can get my grubby little hands on. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm not. Oh, shh. You scared the hell out of me. I won't lie. Boone did scare. Why are there. Okay, this is where they're bringing the Brahmin. The Nightkin. They're just eating them in these mutilated legs. Gross. Sorry, Feral Ghoul. Oh, going up there. Nightkin. The basement. Found the basement. Yeah, it's supposed to be down here. I'm just gonna pick lock the door. Before they give us the key. Come back out here later. All you need to know is that all the nightkin are in the basement. That's what I know. Now I'm gonna go up to the top and meet the mysterious voice of unknown grouchiness. I'm here, friend. Thank you. I need. I need to be watched. God. But oh you wow. Ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Why are you talking like that? You're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Smooth Skin. Your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. All right, I'll go waste Jason's time. Go bother Jason, Smooth Skin. I don't like having you around. All right, I'll be going. Stay away from me. You're so mean to me. You're the Smooth Skin here. Your skin looks extra smoothly compared to mine. You barely have facial hair. Oh, bright followers. Jason will deliver us from the pain of this. All world. right. They are ghouls. All of them are ghouls. They are these scary, scary ghouls. Oh, Your head is patchy, my friend, to and bleeding. Talk to, Jason if you have business here. to any of you the sell anything, not carry us to our salvation. or let me sell stuff to you. Because half your stuff is uh, what you call a uh, non repairable. I don't know what accent that is, but hey. You know. Actually, where does this door lead to? That's the real question. Oh, just a quick way down, I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't lead anywhere. So it's a quick way down. Let's head back in the, the research labs. And go talk to Jason, my friend. He's upstairs somewhere. Where are you, Jason? Evening. Uh oh, but a bright follower. 
Is that Jason? I won't lie, they all kind of look the same. No offense. Trying to look for someone who looks different from the rest. Someone who stands out. Someone who looks like a leader type. Someone who I just need to follow the marker to. That's on my mini map. And there he is. He's a glowing one. One of those things we met on the, not wet, but we saw one of those dead ones on the floor on the way to Repcon. Hello, Jason. I must talk to you. With your one missing pant leg. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Sha, sha, sha. I'm here because uh, feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, what? haven't they? I told that shoot like 30 Those of them coming were in here. members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. And now they are lost forever. Denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. You know there's thousands of them? Please, Wanderer. Outside? Bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can Nevada save later. Station. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. Tell me more about these demons. These demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. Yeah, I won't lie, it took a lot of bullets to kill that one I saw up here. at the farm. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. You said one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside? Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away? It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Sure, I'll take care of them for you. You seem pretty nice in your little groups. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Let me talk to you a little bit. I want to get to know you as a Is the way clear? person. A little bit of man to man. Who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are you members of my You got a lot of veins on your flock. forehead. Last name is Bright, that's funny. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the great war, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. How will you make the journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. What is the far beyond really? What is it? I have glimpsed it only in visions. Oh, I man, visions. What I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing. And I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. What's the deal with the human who let me in? 
You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realize that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Alright, I'm gonna deal with demons. I understand. I know you will fulfill your promise. I made a promise? I could just die and leave. Hello, Chris. Go bother Jason, Smoothskin. I don't like having you around. Oh, I really cannot talk to Chris. All right. Good riddance. All right, I'll see you then. You jerk. You bunch of fooey. You poo poo head. You Baldo. Whose name is Waldo. Your name is Chris. You look like you drink only brisk. So your hairline only lasted for a brisk moment. Okay, we're heading to the basement, meet these Nightkin blue guys, meet the blue man group of the downstairs, the buff blue man group, Ooh. looks like they, I don't know what to call it, strap their mouth open, but they can smile all day, every day, I want a shotgun, because these guys are kind of, I don't know, they kind of have that, what you call, Durability to work my ass. If you want to use a scope, I can spot for it. Keep you on target. That's fine. I don't need. I got power of these bullets. They shoot. And they shoot fast. We're lucky. Let's see if I can get lucky with these shots. Hey, I saw you. You the corner, my friend. You will take the bullets. Oh. Alright, you don't take any damage. And you're gonna hurt me. Ooh, I dodged it barely. Oh, shit. His, his legs are breaking. Hey, get off a of boon, asshole. All right, we're using shotguns only because Boone's actually getting hurt now. I like it. I like the game where Boone gets hurt and feels the pain. Not to found a uh, sadistic, sounds sadistic, but you know I don't want him to be overpowering. Want him to take his fair share of uh, beatdown. His fair share of. Uh, Wow, that hurts. What? I can't one-shot him? What the hell, man? That. Oh, fuck! You actually scared me. You fast as shit. Come on, I want that full blast of face. Eat this. Hey. Ooh, you crippled. Alright, there's one next to me. Hello, your nightkin. Oh man, why is my mouse doing that? Please. Hey, you don't have Rebirth Club now, boy. Hey, why are you trying to fist fight my ED? And screw your hand, you don't got one now. Maybe do, actually. Dude, he can run. No, screw that rebar club. I should shoot out your hand and pick it up. You're not hitting me. Ooh, I got him. I got him, boys. That not crawlish mine. I'm even rebar. Actually, I'll take it. I can repair them all and make a super rebar. Actually, I'll repair the most bro- I eh, no, I won't. Yeah, rebar clubs are worth money. 
I don't think I can actually swing it, can I? No, my strength is uh, too low. I got two rounds left in the shotgun, so I'm going to use all of it. Surprisingly. Uh, the fuck. What was that? No one's in a fight, but that yelp, though. That impeding type of doom, yo. That oh my my amima. Oh my my mima, yo. Oh mama mia. Oh mama mia. I'm trying to say it right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing in this back closet. Just pure trash and junk. No, no. Get up, run, run, run. It hurts. It hurts. Bro, I'm about to shoot this thing out of your hand and then blast you in the face. I'm gonna shoot out of your hand and pick it up. Bro, how'd I miss it? Back up, friend. You hurt a little too much. Sorry to say, but I, I don't think I can talk to you no more. It hurt my feelings and my face. And I love both of them very, very much, very dearly. Uh, where's that weathered pistol out? Let's start using this again. Has a lot of ammo. A lot of ammo for it. All right, yeah. Actually gonna go down now. Down, down, down. So hit the ground. All right, you went in here. See you. It hurts. I know it hurts. You feel it. You love it, don't you? Oh, this dude has a fucking flamer. <laughs> Actually, fuck the rebar club, boy. It hurts. It hurts. I'm right now. Bye. Can't run from me. Oh, fuck. You fight him, Boone. Chest shot. The chest is broken, so it does extra damage. Ah. Uh, all right. I'm running long pistol ammo again. And I'm taking too much damage. I'm just gonna start to, uh, you know, just healing up a lot. You know what I'm saying? Just a drink. Fuck. I didn't mean to use the impacts, but whatever. I'm already using them. I just picked up a jail key accidentally. I didn't want it. Let's just repair all these armors I have. Rewire clubs. Of Faded Destiny. All of these. Get my weight back down all the way. Recharge your pistols. Boom, boom, boom. Now weight is as normal as it's gonna be for the rest of the while. Give me my incinerator, boy. I need my incinerator to incinerate your faces. Turn you into my incinerating. B I T C H. Oh, I tried to body flop. Let the bodies flop the floor. Mm, downstairs. Or a door. I like this door better. It got shit. It got cartons of cigs. Hmm. 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 Open the desk. Jail key. I don't want the jail key. I don't want anything that does with jail. I don't want it. Let me drop the key. I don't want it. Looks like I'm keeping it. That's life. 
It's 12 a.m. I was gonna adjust the a.m. a minute ago. Alright, I'm gonna pause. We'll be right back. We're gonna explore the rest of the basement. <laughs> 